Rangers hosting the White Sox, and the White Sox are plus 102 on the money line. The Rangers are minus 120. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The White Sox laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 172, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 210, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, you win. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. Head-to-head, the Rangers are on a five-game winning streak. They are 7-3 and three against the White Sox in their last 10. The home team's on a four-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite has won the last five games they played against each other. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The under has hit in their last two. The under is 6-3-1. and one. However, the over at 7.5 runs is 6-4. and four. The White Sox are 0-5 in Crochet's last five starts. They just give this man absolutely no run support. One run, no runs, four runs, three runs, and then one run. But that's how many runs they've scored for him in his last five starts. The under is 3-1-1. One, and one. Four and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.8 hits, 1.8, uh, 1.4 earned runs, 6.8 strikeouts, 0.8 walks, no home runs, 77 pitches, and 16 pitches per inning. For the Rangers, they're two and three in Gray's last five starts. The over's hit in his last three. The over is four and one. Four and a third innings pitched, 6.8 hits, 4.6 earned runs, two strikeouts, 0.8 walks, one home run per game, 71 pitches per game, 16 pitches per inning. The White Sox are one and nine in their last 10. 13 runs, eight runs, seven runs, five runs, and I believe there were seven runs in the game today. One run and a loss, one run and a loss, one run and a loss, and then three runs in the loss today. The Rangers are on a two-game winning streak. Ten runs, twelve runs, five runs, and then seven runs. One run and a loss, four runs and a loss, three runs and a win, and then four runs in the win today. To me, this is a damned if you do and a damned if you don't, but I'm going to take the Rangers on the money line. I'm going to take the Rangers getting the runs, and I'm going under. It's just a shame Crochet isn't getting any run support. This might be the game that they pull the upset, and if they do, I wouldn't be that surprised. But if the White Sox shift to getting positive money or just shift on the run line and they become the underdog, I would consider taking them getting runs. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.